Well, the world of streaming has given us more movies and TV shows than we know what to do with. So picking what to watch can be a full-time job. Lucky for you, we have someone with us, and that is her full-time job. <laughs> Founder and film critic from Cinema Vixen, Steph Koza, is here with a summer streaming guide. And you're also, this is really cool, a certified Rotten Tomatoes critic, so you really know your stuff. We know this. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we're going to start off with a show that is off in their second season. This is really fun. A spin-off show, House of Dragon. Yes. So yeah, season two of House of the Dragon just started. I think we're two episodes in now. Yeah. Um, and I am so, so excited. I'm a big fan of the show. And I hear you're a big fan too. I am. Actually, we are rewatching season one because if you're a Game of Thrones fan, you know how complicated these worlds can be. So yeah. knowing the characters, knowing the plot lines, it's so fun rewatching season one to get up to speed for season two. Yeah, that's a great idea because there's so, so much, <laughs> so much that happens. And this is, is this going over well with critics, including yourself? Yes, absolutely. I cannot wait for the next episode. I still haven't watched episode two yet, but. Yeah. Just came out last night. Yeah. Right. All right. Thumbs up at this point. All right. Black Barbie. It's a documentary. Mm -hmm. We want to talk about that as well. Yeah. Black Barbie is a documentary on Netflix, and it is about the very first Black Barbie that was introduced in the 60s. And it's all about the story of these three black women that worked at Mattel and fought to get this toy out into the world. And it's a really beautiful story and so, so important to our culture and for little girls everywhere who were able to see this Barbie doll that looks like them, right, which was right. huge. Representation is so important, That's especially fantastic. when it comes with to children and play mm -hmm. and, you know, it's just, yeah. it's really important. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have Sugar. Tell us about this one. I'm obsessed with this show. Okay. Really? It's kind of a hidden gem. I have been I've probably 10 episodes in. Oh, are you? Yes. <gasps> so, like, I'm curious what you have to say about it. Because oh, my gosh. I'm not sure whether to keep going. Oh, I, it, yeah. Yes, There's, okay. <laughs> it, it's a little bit slow. I started it, and I was, like, two episodes in, and I was like, ah, I don't know how I feel about this. You know, it's a film noir kind of uh -huh. slow burn mystery, but it unravels, and it just gets bigger and bigger. There's a crazy plot twist near the end. It is, I... Cannot recommend it enough. David, I'm watching this. This does not seem like your cup no, of tea. See, this, uh, we started <laughs> watching it because we thought, because it, so uh, Colin Farrell, mm -hmm. and then who's the the lady, the blonde lady that's, she's so smart and so good. Um, oh my gosh. And I can't I think of her name right now. But anyway, she was in Murders <laughs> in the Building too, and she's yeah, just yeah, fantastic, yeah, yeah. and she was on Broadway. Mm -hmm. And we start watching it, and then there's like, oh, there's violence in this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but there's also like a plot line that really makes you, like, y y you're pulled in by the intrigue. Yeah. So I kind of got past some of the violence. Yeah. That's her, Amy Ryan. Oh, Amy, gosh, yes. you know, see, I know her from The Office. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> I see that. Our I see worlds the office. collide occasionally. <laughs> okay, how about The Hitman? Or is it just Hitman? Hitman. Hitman. Okay. Okay, um, is this a movie? Yes, this is a movie on Netflix. Um, it is, it's so good. It's. It feels like an old rom-com kind of film noir with a twist. Um, and it's about this guy who is just this huge dork, played by Glenn Powell, amazingly. <laughs> And he's undercover as this fake hitman for um, the cops. And so he pretends to be a hitman that people hire and then he catches them. Um, oh. But he takes on all of these different personas and they make him look really cool. And he, you know, he becomes, he goes from being this dorky professor to being this really cool hitman guy. And then he falls in love with this woman who hires him to kill her husband. Oh, it's geez. it's so fun. It's so so good. I cannot recommend it. Ooh. Enough. So right. is it is it drama? Is it comedy? Is it a mix of it's both? It's a little bit of both. Okay, cool. Yeah. That looks like a fun one to watch too. Yeah. Good and what stuff. A, and what a dilemma too, falling in love with someone who's hiring you to kill her yeah. husband. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. Gosh. All right, thank you so much. Now we have things to watch. Thanks, yes, Steph. Absolutely. All right, for more hot takes and reviews from film and TV critic Steph Koza, just go to our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.